welcome to a brand new week and we thank God for the victory we have in the Lord Jesus Christ. He is our strength and He is our portion. The Christian life is a life of faith and that's what we are talking about today. Romans chapter 1 verse 17. For in it the righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith. As it is written, the judge shall live by faith. We live the Christian life the same way we enter the Christian life. And how did we enter the Christian life? How do we become Christian? We became Christians by believing that Jesus is the Son of God. It's an act of faith. We believe that when he died, we died with him. That is an act of faith. We believe that when he rose from the dead, we rose with him. That is an act of faith. And when we open our heart to him, he comes to live in our heart. So everything that brings us into Christianity is based on faith. And that faith that brings us into Christianity is the same faith that sustains us. So when we begin, we start with faith and then we continue with faith and hopefully we end in faith. We are saved by faith and we live by faith. So somebody will say, what is faith is? Faith is basically believing that God is who he says he is and what he says he does it. God is who he says he is. So when we have faith, we believe in who God is. But beyond believing who God is, we believe what he says through the scriptures. So faith is going to be anchored on God's nature and God's word. Because whatever God is, His Word is. God is good. So His Word is good. God is a healer. So His Word is. God is able. So His Word is able. He has all power. His Word has all power. So our faith is activated when we take the Word of God as God speaking to us right now. And that's why the scripture says, faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. The word of God is the foundation of our faith. But it's not just what you think the word, it's who God is. Because his nature backs his word. His nature gives us to the written word of God. So we believe who God is and then we believe what he says. And our faith must not be misplaced. It's easy to misplace faith. We can have faith in ourselves. Sometimes people have faith in other people. Sometimes people have faith in their church or they have faith in their servant of God. It is great to admire your church. It is great to admire a preacher and like what they say. But our faith must never be shifted from God and His word to our church or to a man or a woman who preaches the word of God or to a friend or someone who promises you something or maybe to yourself when our faith shifts from God to other things then God is not any under obligation to do what we want him to do because he watches over his word to perform it so as we walk the Christian work we have to be mindful to walk by faith. Faith saves us from sin. Faith delivers us from the power of Satan. Faith gives us victory in every battle. Faith is a healing. Faith causes us to prosper. Faith causes us to be the head and not the tail. Faith causes us to be above. So determine that you will live by faith. Let's pray. Say with me, Heavenly Father. I choose to live by faith. With my whole heart, I believe in you. I believe in your word. In Jesus' name, amen.